What's up, family? Hey, so I want to have a real heart to heart with you guys today. Real heart to heart. Today, we're going to talk about validation. Validation. <laughs> it's crazy because um, I'll be 51 next month. 51. My mother passed away when I was two. Say that again. My mom passed away when I was two. I'll be 51 next month. And up until a few years ago, I would go to her grave site. A lot. <laughs> and cry just bawling, just going through it. And I was kneel there, just broken, broken. And I would talk to her and my grandmother, my grandmother, my dad's mom. who passed away in 99. And I would sit there crying and just talking to them and just, um, smiling, I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I would sit there crying, talking to them, hoping that they were proud of me. Asking if they were proud of me. Wanting them to be proud of me. Hoping that um, all the hell that I'd gone through. That what I was doing with my life was okay with them. Hoping that they were satisfied, hoping that they were pleased with how I turned out. Needing their validation. Needing to know that I was okay in their eyes. And all I wanted was just a sign from them, either one of them. Knowing that they were proud of me. Knowing that they were pleased with who I had become. What I was doing with my life. I'm having this conversation. It's a sensitive conversation. <laughs> um. But if you know me, you know that, uh, man, this is who I am. I'm, I'm raw. Um, I'm going to keep it real. Something we need to talk about. And the great majority of us don't have these type of conversations. We don't even have these conversations with ourselves. Who are you waiting for validation from? Who do you need validation from? And I know right off the bat, so many are going to be like, man, I'm, psh, man, I don't need validation from nobody. We'll do it, man. Miss me with all that BS. <laughs> I'm not hearing that. I'm not. A, you can say it if you want to. To each their own. But the reality is that the great majority of us seeking validation from somebody. Whether it's a father, father figure, a mother, or mother figure, a teacher, an ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, whatever the case may be. The great majority of us are in need of being validated from somebody. 
And if we're not careful, so many of us will go into relationships needing validation from an ex. And we're in this new relationship and nothing this other person do will ever be good enough because it's not coming from your ex. Because you need validation from your ex. You need that closure from your ex. You need that validation from somebody that's probably never ever going to give it to you. And that's a hard thing to deal with. That's a hard thing to process. And yet the reality is something we have to do. It's something we have to do. In order to grow, in order to go on and reach our full potential. In order to be completely present in our present. You can't be present in your present relationship, still needing validation from an ex. My hope and prayer back up for a second. I'm going to challenge each and every one of you. Grab a piece of paper and write down everybody that you need validation from. Nobody has to see it but you. Just be honest with yourself. Write down on a piece of paper every person that you think you're looking from validation from. And then start reflecting on it. Reflect on it first and then write their names down. And then write down why you feel like you need validation from that individual. There's two parts to this. Actually, there's three. First part, you're going to reflect on who all you need validating from. You're going to write down their names. You're going to write down why you think you need validation. Why are you seeking validation from this individual? And the last thing. You're going to write a letter releasing them for not giving you that validation. You're going to write a letter releasing them from the responsibility that you put on them of validating you. Because the truth be told, it's no one's responsibility to validate us. It's not your exes, it's not your mamas, it's not your daddy, it's nobody else's responsibility to validate you. You have to know who you are regardless. You have to accept you. You have to love you. Regardless of who accepts you, regardless of who thinks what about you. And that's a hard thing to do. But it's something that we have to do. You have to release them. And it's not about they needing your release. It's about you freeing yourself up from that emotional attachment to them. It's about you liberating yourself from needing their validation. After you write down this list of who you need validation from, and as time goes on, you're probably going to have to do this quite a few times. 
because you're going to remember somebody else. You're going to remember somebody else later on down the road. Just go through the whole process all over again. Write down the name of the person that you need validating from. Write down why you need validating from them. Why you sought to be validated by them. Then write down your release. You liberating yourself from them. You freeing them from that responsibility. From that role of having to validate you. And then finally, you can either flush it down the toilet or you can burn it. But you got to get rid of it. My hope and prayer for you is that you understand that we have to learn to love and embrace and validate ourselves. It's no one else's responsibility to validate us. And whether they validate us or not, we don't seek their validation. Understand something. If you give them the power to where you only feel validated because they give you that validation, they also have the same power to destroy you and to make you feel less than and unworthy because they don't give you that validation. It's a double-edged sword. Once you give them that power, to needing that validation, you at the same time give them the same power to make you feel unworthy. I love you guys. Peace.